Hunger is spreading in Guatemala, and it's taking a toll on children. Five of Maria Concepcion Rodriguez's six children are undernourished. <laughs> They're too short for their age or stunted by World Health Organization standards. Guatemala's stunting rate is the highest in Latin America, according to UNICEF. It's just one consequence coming out of a complex matrix of drought, extreme weather, crop damage and food shortages that are pushing people in Guatemala to the brink. This nutrition clinic lies along a front line of Guatemala's food insecurity problem. The region has the highest morbidity and mortality from acute malnutrition. <laughs> this two-year-old with cerebral palsy is severely stunted. He weighs the same as an average six-month-old. Severe malnutrition in children under the age of five is getting worse, government data shows, with hunger a suspected link in more than 100 deaths of young children. That's just within the first nine months of this year. Nearly a quarter of the country's population, or up to 4.6 million people, have suffered food shortages over the past year. That's according to an initiative that classifies food security and generates data for the UN. Guatemala lies in a corridor that the UN sees as highly climate vulnerable. Drought is getting worse and weather more extreme. In some cases, experts say crop damage and food shortages are pushing people to leave the country altogether. People like farmer Fidel Eduardo Lopez. No era mi objetivo México. Era mi objetivo Estados Unidos. Por 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 el trabajo por su moneda, Ajá. es que uno al año y medio, dos años, uno ya pagó la deuda. He's not alone. U.S. data shows more than 230,000 Guatemalans arrived at the U.S. border last year. Guatemala's outgoing president launched a national nutrition plan in 2020. The president-elect Bernardo Arevalo says hunger, extreme poverty, and migration are all intertwined. Los lugares donde se concentra la presión para expulsar la migración son lugares donde se concentra la pobreza extrema en el país, donde se concentra la desnutrición. Son áreas abandonadas, además, donde hay una altísima concentración de población indígena. De manera que, al dirigir los esfuerzos de desarrollo hacia esas zonas, vamos a estar atacando distintos problemas al mismo tiempo. Vamos a estar atacando el problema de la, migra de la migración, pero también el problema de la desnutrición. Rodriguez says leaving is not an option for her. Her family is just trying to make do with the little they have. <laughs> 